All right, we've started. Um, I explained a little bit. I'm just going for my CFI, so um, Alicia uh, is uh, volunteered to uh, let me uh, uh, t uh, teach her, not teach, but mentor or coach. Um, we're, she's not paying me. We're not doing any of that stuff. This is just so I can get ready and get used to the check ride that's coming up. In the back, we've got Alex, Mexican Rupert. Thanks for flying with us, Alex. We've been on a shoot here in Mississippi. We're heading home to Fort Worth. I've had you in the last flight, last two flights, I had you reading off the list for me, and I did them. Now I'm going to read off for you, and you do them. Beacon and nav lights on. Beacon and nav on. Electric trim check. Electric trim check. Okay, when that does that, that reminds me also to set the trim. So you want to put the trim in the white. That Yeah, that horizontal, bring it on down. It needs to go way down. Yeah, so about right maybe right in there. Okay, good. All right, and the horizontal trim needs to be over here. So that's okay, where it's at. Okay. Yeah, leave it, leave it there. Because of P factor, that's torque, and it's something you're not aware of at all. <laughs> but when we did the last takeoff, I told you to note how much right rudder I was having to give. Right. We're going to talk about that later once we're in the air. Okay. But that's, it's, um, well, real quick, when the engine is spinning this way, if you're spinning something, what's going to happen to the airplane? It's going to go that direction. The airplane wants to go that way, too. So, the so you're compensating. Exactly, because the airplane, when you're taking off in the air, it's wanting to push you over that way. So, um, and that's torque. And what you've got to do then is, is give it more right rudder to be able to keep coordinated. We talked about coordination yesterday. So, on the flight out. Okay, compass check. We should be heading west because we're parallel to the 1836 runway. Engine instruments normal. Oil pressure is good. We look here, oil temperature is 162 right in the middle of the green. Um, that's all looking good. Where suction is right in the green, that's looking good. Amps are uh, charging positive. positive. Or as Christy likes to say, the amps are amping. <laughs> and, uh, that's my initials. Yeah, so they're amping. Um, flaps are up. HSI NAS source verify. What we're looking at is that we make sure that you know, we got what we want on that. And one thing we might do is for the heading is go ahead and set uh, the heading that we're going to want to take. And uh, we're almost going to be going what due west. It's going to be in the 270 range. All right, before taxi, uh, engine instruments, AC is needed. We're okay right now. Radio set frequency, we're at 122.9. But what we're going to do is we're going to switch to 135.6, which is Columbus approach to pick up our flight following. 135.6. We're going the right way. Yeah. There you go. And that's preloaded. So radio flaps are up. Uh, altimeter set, uh, which we just flew. We uh, the altimeter is I'm sure is going to be really close. Um, flight input. So let's hit flight plan. And we're at M83, so push in the big knob and put Tango 6-7 in. I push it in. And then turn the, turn the little knob. Oh, the little knob. There we go. And the big knob. So and then the K little knob to ta Tango. Tango. Or? Not Kilo. Tango. No. If that no if that knob didn't work, then use it. Turn the other one. There you go. Okay, then go over one and backwards for the numbers. 6-7. There you go. It, it, is, it does take a lot to get used to this. The, the uh, 430 is, is... I've done this, but it's always enter, been with my... Do enter. It's always been with... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, scroll down with the big knob to airport and hit enter. Doesn't oh. let me get to airport. Yeah, it does. No, I mean, Central, airport, Central USA. That's all one line. Oh, okay. And then hit enter. And accept. Enter. Okay, good. So now we've got our flight plan in there, which I can tell you by, because I have it also here in four flight, so your heading is 267. So on the heading bug, I like to put what my heading is going to be. Okay. So flight plan is input. Parking brake is off. Now, by the way, I'm holding the brakes right now. Are you holding the brakes? Yes. Okay, good. I'm going to let you hold them. Okay, okay. taxi. Uh, brakes check. Okay, so we can begin taxiing now. So what I want you to do is we've got to do a really hard right turn. Are we clear on your side for the wing? Is there anything going to clip us if we do a right turn? No. Okay. So we're going to very carefully...
carefully, we're going to mash down that right rudder all the way. We're also going to hit the right brake on the top of that right rudder to get, help us turn even more. All right, you ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Am I doing this right? Yep. It'll take a, a little bit harder. Let go of the brake a little bit. There you go. And then, then you see the feel that? Okay, yeah. now straighten up and slow down. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good, good. Okay, slow it down a little bit more. Okay, because we don't want to enter the runway, so we're going to stop right here and do our run up. Okay, stopping. Well, okay, well. yeah, don't want to turn when you stop. And if anything for your run up, you want to be into the wind, but we are calm winds here. So, um, all right, so let's, uh, let's finally do a run up. We want to make sure nobody's behind us. That's the problem with being like in this. Uh, <laughs> I was looking for river mirrors. In the ramp. <laughs> yeah, you got to look back and look around. There's no mirrors. <laughs> Actually, in the, in the training I did, there was a 152 that did have a mirror. Because the 152, you could see out that. It's a lot closer. Okay, so you ready for the run-up? So I want you to put your feet on both brakes. Both brakes. Okay, and I like to straighten out. Are we straight, do you think? You were turning to the right. Did you get it enough over to the left? I, I thought I straightened I'm out. Gonna, I'm going to just check something here. And actually, let's turn and face the runway. Okay. Go ahead. Let, turn us and put your hand on throttle. Okay. Okay. Turn and face the runway. And then straighten out. Let go of the brake. I am. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See, we're, we're going the wrong way. I'm going to help you. you got to really mash those pedals down. Okay. I'm now, just not mashing them enough. Anticipate. Anticipate. So bring that in. So pull out. Pull out the throttle. Okay. There you go. Now let it come on around. And then we're going to straighten out. You feel that? You I, see I it? Feel it. I okay, now we're going to stop here. Okay. Make sure okay. when you stop, here's the reason why when you stopped back there and we veered to the right was because you stopped with your right foot. You need to stop with both feet. Okay. Or because if you stop one wheel, that wheel's going to lock, the other one's going to keep turning, which will make you do a turn. And that's how we got out of the fuel area is that we st you had the brake on, so we couldn't get going. So I said, let go of the brakes, and then it started turning, and then you can add brakes once you're turning, because then that wheel can turn. Okay. So uh, that's how the, it's called differential braking. Uh, tanks do it, you know, because you got those treads, they want to turn. They'll, Next stop, tanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, so we've uh, completed our taxi checklist, because we did taxi, but 10 feet. Okay, run up. Um, and we're doing good there. Okay. Fuel selector, go ahead and switch it to the other side. Hey. Okay, our flight instruments are looking good. Ow, I broke a nail. Okay, you can't do... You did that before <laughs> in one of the videos. Okay, oil temp, is it in the green? Yes. Okay, EDM CHTs, that's the white number. Are they all above 200, the whites? Yes. Okay. Mixture in? This one? Yep, the red. Okay, brakes on? Brakes on. Okay, throttle to 1700 RPM. Whoa, you can go a little softer next time, but there you go, you're there. <laughs> okay, let that go. Now, hold the white key down until it goes into normalized mode. Okay, you're in. Notice the even blue. Now get nope. left hand on the keys. Go two clicks over and note the difference. 1690 to 1640, and they all raise the same. Go back to... To both, let it get back, and then do one click left. We're checking the other mag, and we'll talk what that means, too. Is it back? I, I don't think you clicked it. Did you go to one? Because it's still at 1,700. Yeah, I'm at back. I'm at both. Oh, go to, go to left. Go to one. Yeah, just, okay, there we go. 70 drop back to normal. Both? Okay. Both. Okay, now do a prop. One, one pull on the prop. Back in, all the way, all the way in, all the way in. There you go. Okay, Put now one more time. Suck no. Suction is good. Amps are amping. Pull okay. back on your throttle back to a thousand. We don't want to stress the engine. Okay. So we don't want to spend a long time in run up. So I'm gonna hit that and reset it, take it out of normalized mode for the EDM. So that we can see normal things. What it does is it kind of fine tunes the numbers so you can really see them and see what your cylinders are doing. If we had seen one cylinder Staying down while the others raised, that's a sign that we were having trouble with uh, during the run-up. Okay. If we'd seen a drop of more than 150 on a mag check, then we know we've got trouble. 
That happened to me on my my third private pilot flight, and we had to go back to the shop because we could. We tried to blow it out. There's things you could do, but uh, anyway, this make sure you're at a thousand. Information right now. A thousand. <laughs> it is. Okay. And that's why we. I'll try not to overflow you, and uh, drink from the water hose. Let's get to a thousand. There we go. We don't want to stress the engine. Okay, so uh, that completes our run-up. Okay, before takeoff, autopilot check. So turn the autopilot on, and then with the button right by your fingers, where you're, you know, it's right here, On flip, flip the red button, or whatever color that is. Uh, the top one or the bottom one? Uh, top one. There you go, and it turned off the autopilot. The autopilot is checked. Okay. Autopilot okay, check. rudder trim set. Elevator trim set. Okay. Set. Flaps set to 10. Flaps set 10. Flight controls free and correct. Okay, that's the stick and the ailerons. What about the rudder? I don't know. Okay, For so real. look back. Look back at your elevator. Make sure that now pull the yoke back. Does the elevators work? Back there. Do you see it? Yes. Okay, that's good. Now, do the rudder. Do you see the rudder move? No. Okay, we're, look look over this side. Uh, the rudder. <laughs> You're looking at the rudder. It's that big fin in the, the I know, back. I can't see it. Okay, push it hard. You oh, see it? Oh, I see it now. Yeah. Is it my big head? Ow, it yeah. My Alex, get out of the way. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, flight controls for crack. Seat belts secure. Radios are set. Flight plan is set. Altitude. Um, we're going to fly back, by the way, just in checking it. Let's go at 8,500. The higher we go, we're hitting that, that headwind. It's a three-hour flight instead of a two-and-a-half on the way back. 2,500. Okay. Transponder set, 1,200. Interior lights is desired. Strobe on. Strobe on. We don't need any pedo heat. It's pretty warm out there. We're rolling. Break, break. Both brakes. Yeah, you got to make sure you still start rolling. <laughs> okay, so that completes our before takeoff check. Now, just real quick, let's brief what we're going to do. Okay? Don't look worried. <laughs> All I want you to do is, is uh, just, you're going to throttle in, you're going to give a little bit of back pressure, I'm going to help you steer it, you know, I'll be there the whole way. It's back pressure meaning pull this back? back? Pressure, yeah, back pressure means to, do, to come back on this. You don't need to do it heavy. It's like on the throttle, on run-up, you want to, you know. Yeah, you, you can go, I'm a little heavy-handed. Yeah, you, you can do everything, you know, smooth. Think smooth. All right, hopefully nobody's been waiting behind us. Well, they would have called us. Okay, so what's the call that we're going to make here? Do you know? Um, McCarran? No, what's it called? This is McCarran, right? Yeah. Okay, so McCarran traffic. Centurion, traffic, Centurion 4620, Yankee. One, you can say 1-8. Taking, oh, taking the 1-8? Well, yeah, and some people got, and some people on, on the channel have said, oh, don't say taking. I, I don't care. <laughs> uh, but just say, you can just say 1-8. Yeah. You can say... Uh, uh, McCarran traffic, Centurion 4620, Yankee, entering 1-8 or taking 1-8 uh, for a, a west departure. McCarran. Okay. All right, go ahead. McCarran, Centurion 4620, Yankee, taking the 1-8 active for a west departure. McCarran. And one thing we're not saying anymore is active, because what is active? I don't know. That's all right. <laughs> I got busted for that one, and and there's a good point for that. We'll talk about that later. Let's go. I'm ahead go. new. <laughs> Let's go out. Okay. Let's go flying. Okay, so off the brakes, throttle yeah. going. So heels on the floor. Put your heels, heels on, on the floor. The floor. Okay. Why am I going that direction? Because you're not giving enough rudder. You okay. really got to push hard on these rudders. Okay. I'm going. Hey, there we go. We're going slowly. That's okay. Slow is good. And you're gonna check, make sure nobody's out on the runway. Okay. Somebody could be no radio. Okay, you're going too fast, so slow okay. down a little bit. Slowing down. And then we're going to turn going right. Break. Turn right. Turn right. I, why do I keep trying to steer with my steering wheel? I do, too. I did, too. When I first started, that's what I did all the time. Now let's straighten out. Straighting More out. left. Straighting there you go. Out. Okay. Good. Okay, so we're going straight now. Yeah, and, and it's okay not to be on the center line when we're back taxing. Okay. I'm just going to give one more call just to make sure. We're carrying traffic. Centurion's back taxing 1-8 for a west departure. Am I going um, too slow? No, you're no, 
no, you're not going too slow. You can't go too slow with this right now. Um, I'm, uh, and I like being off center line when we're back taxing because it's easier to see that something's wrong if somebody's coming in, that something's not normal. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so begin to slow down and power and throttle out. Okay, throttle okay. out. And yeah. Wait, why and, does it sound like I'm? Why is it? <laughs> okay, what's wrong? It sounds totally normal. Okay. Pull the yoke back a little bit. Okay. Keep that pressure off the the front wheels. Okay. Okay, good. We're staying here on the on the right side of the runway. Okay. Because oh, they do have a run up. So I wasn't sure if they. Okay, had so down I got to stop, or am I going over there? Well, what so, we're going to do is we're going to turn right and turn around so that we can take off. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so I'm going to push. And you don't have to do a whole bunch. I'm going to so, push into my right there we go. foot. There you and go. Then and I'm then we're going to turn to my left. Okay, here. slow it down and hit the left brake. Oh, okay. Well, feel that brake. I feel There you same. go. That helps you. All right. Now let's come on up and, and okay. turn. Keep going. Let's get on the center line. McCarran Traffic, Centurion 1 8. We'll uh, west departure. Okay, there we go. Okay, now pull the pull the throttle out so it's your set. Let's get set. Yeah, I'm and not on the center, so I need to be on the center, good. right? Yep, get us on the center. Okay. Now let's go ahead and uh, no, too far, too much. Let's get. There you go. All right, let's throttle in to about halfway. Okay, throttling in halfway. Yep. Now this is where we need to right thr right uh, rudder. Okay, right okay. rudder. Keep going, throttle in slowly. Throttling in slowly. Okay, airspeed is alive, throttle in all the way. Throttling in all the way. There you go. Here we go. Okay, keep in. your hand on the throttle. Hand on the throttle. And we're all almost we're all the way 65. in. 65. Okay, we're all the way in on throttle. Okay, we're going to back pressure, back pressure. Give me back some pressure. back, not that much. Oop. Remember, smooth, slow and smooth. Gear okay. going up. Gear cool. going up. How do I get it up? Pull it towards there you. We go. Yeah, it's Gear a pull up. out deal. Okay, good. Okay. okay. Now we're about to stall, so I'm going to uh, nose this down a little bit. Okay. Let's get our airspeed above 90. How do we do that? By nose down. Okay. There okay. it is, and flaps up. Flaps up. Okay, now feel the trim wheel. The trim. And pull the it trim. up a little bit, like right. We, yeah, there we go. So we got. I'm having to push the airplane forward okay. so much. Yeah, you want to make sure that you have enough uh, trim. We'll get into that later. But there you go. Your first takeoff. Oh my gosh! I think now, but, I hey, feel like it just took a shower. Yeah, but let's. Uh, we still got a lot of stuff going on. Well, so I want you to throttle out to 30 gently. To 30. Okay. There you go. Okay, we're also going to do our turnout to the west. Okay, turning out to the west. How are you doing that? Are you using this or are you yeah. using the foot? Uh, both. Because remember, we want to be coordinated, but we'll worry about that later. Okay, now also, I want you to roll the prop back to 2,500 on the RPM. That's this one? Yeah, and also, we st we're still climbing too fast. If I let go, look at that nose, just go for the ceiling. I want you to grab the trim wheel and bring it up a little bit. Trim up. There you go. Yeah, we want to. We want to use. I'm pulling this out. No, not pull. I want you to rotate it. I want you to turn it left, counterclockwise, until we get to 2,500 on the RPM. Will it go fast or slow? It'll catch up with you. Okay, 2,500. 2,500. Okay, good. 10. Good. All right. Good. Now that's set for climb. So we're still climbing. Okay. So now. Um, we have to switch over? We will, but I'll do radios because I don't want you to, to drink from the fire hose too much. I want you to just focus on flying. Okay? Keeping the wings level is really hard. Yeah. No. Just stay level. <laughs> level your approaching on your wings, that's not level on your... Level up, wings. On your climb. Okay, to your defense, you're flying a complex, high-performance aircraft. So not only are you drinking... So I should be a pro at this, is what you're saying. But not only are you drinking already from a water hose, I've given you a very complicated water hose to drink from. So I've made it worse. It's like a bigger water hose than what normal students would have to drink from.
It's like one of those emergency fire hoses. <laughs> well, it's like a big, big fire hose when you just got to put out a little grass fire. So, um, you know, that's what you're doing. So you're doing a great zero, job. Four, turn left hitting zero, nine, or zero. When, when, you, when a student begins zero, flight four, right, training, they're flying with a plane significantly smaller and significantly simpler than what you have to do here. So you're doing great. I feel like we're going up and down a lot. No, so you're doing a pretty decent climb. I mean, it's okay. We're you're leveling out things, but it's okay. Just keep it. Don't sweat it too much. GTR. The important thing is just getting familiar with the controls and starting to feel them and, and all that okay. kind of stuff. Also, Wing train yourself to be looking one, outside zero. and looking for planes. Sure. Stay level wings. Aircraft calling in on answer. Say again. That's just seven four hundred feet. No. Doesn't like me. If someone pulled up our flight path, it'd probably be like. Yeah, I'm looking at it. <laughs> you guys got a message? What now? Message. message. Fuel. Okay. All right. Fuel timer. Good job. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let me not do that again. Multitasking. Uh, now you're leveling out. Mission so go ahead and keep the climb the going. Go ahead. No, no. Don't do what your trim will. You you pushed on the yeah. So oh. so okay. use your use your rudder. Listen, That's right. You don't want to fly with your trim wheel. So what you want to do is get where you want to and then adjust the trim after you get the plane in the attitude that you want it in. The trim is to fine tune your attitude that you want. So is this what you want? Now, I don't know. No, feel it. I need to be 100, right? So, so down a little bit. Push forward a little bit. A little bit. There you go. That was a nice gentle change. That was good. Okay, this is making more November sense. Four, one, uniform contact now, the center, one, now two, point do you five, feel eight. that if you were to let go, is it going to move in one way or the other as far as up or down? Yes. Which way is it going to move? Down. Okay, so you want to go uh, push down on the trim wheel to create the nose to come up a little bit. So just go a little bit, like a, you know, a couple of notches of trim. Okay. Now let, now set, let it settle. No. And you're going too far, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, so now go the opposite direction, split the difference. Okay. There you go. And that's how you trim. Now it's, it's going down going a little down. bit. So come push the wheel down, as, you know, just barely. Okay. Still going down a hair. So. Uh, wings one four, turn left direct, Dennis. I'm sure my sound effects are really great. No. Okay, but you're, you're learning trim right at the outset here. Now, direction-wise, we've gotten off a little bit, but that's okay. So slowly, aileron, turn us left a little bit. What is this word, aileron? Okay, this is these are the ailerons, okay? So what I want you to do is aileron left a little bit, not that much, and then level out because it'll catch up. Wings 1-4, roger. Maintain VFR above 3,700, a block and high key at GTR. Okay, let's get back to that 6 7, two, six, seven That's heading. Seven, okay. we'll You're at 2 eight, back into zero right there. Oh, I see it. I see it. Okay. I'm just going to do it gently, smooth. Yeah. Yeah. 7 uh, where are you going? Smooth is good. do a quick VFR orbit on the spot right here. Yes, 7 roger. Uh, November 06, Yankee, contact yeah, map center 128.5. Have a good day. 06, Yankee. Was that for two zero Yankee? November two zero Yankee eight affirmative. My apologies. Contact Memphis Center one two eight point five. Two eight point five and thanks for the help. Two zero Yankee. Six. 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 Seven just advise me now. Oh. Fix yourself. Memphis Center Fort Centurion four six two zero Yankee at seven thousand for eight thousand five hundred. Centurion four six zero six Yankee <laughs> Memphis Center Roger Greenwood altimeter three zero two five maintain VFR. <laughs> Two five maintain VFR, and we might be incorrect. And there, it's the correct call sign is Centurion four six two zero Yankee. Okay, yeah, they messed that up. Four six two zero Yankee. I'll get that fixed. Appreciate it. Two zero Yankee. Two six seven. Okay. Now stay. There you go. Stay so there, now you now go back to your your trim uh, feels and everything that we talked about a while ago. Okay. You're flying, by the way. Oh, that's great. Congratulations, Alicia. You're flying. No, I, I have no hands it. on the wheel. No. I have no feet on the rudder. You're flying. 
Okay, I'm playing, but I'm not doing this very well. Cause no, you were like doing, this. okay, because you were doing great. <laughs> For first time, you were way ahead. Oh, great. You're doing wonderful. It, you say that's all the first timers. Yes, <laughs> good afternoon. I've never said it before. Seventeen point five. We're gonna go. I've charge. never told Park anybody that. Two blue. Remember two two seven four line on Mountain Center. Two plus ten three zero two five nine ten VFR. Come on now. Zero two five. Really, this is this is not an easy thing. Eleven eighty five. No, it's not. One three two point zero five. Good afternoon. Yeah, keep that lookout. Good that you're looking out. You're scanning. I feel your like when I look outside is when my everything plane goes to pot. To go. yeah. <laughs> That's exactly right. Okay. But once you learn trim, and you get your plane trimmed really well, then you can look outside and your plane will fly nicely. Okay. Also, we're in the smoother air, and so you notice we're not getting kicked around a lot. Yes. Okay. I'm just trying to get us to two six seven. Exactly. All right. There you go. I did it. Okay. I like exact. Uh, precision is something that does not come easily to me, and I had to really work on it, and it's really important for flying. I'm a little OCD, so... Yeah, OCD is good for flying. Now, we're 400 feet below cruising altitude, so what's going to happen is, is that as we reach it, you're going to nose gently forward once we get close to 8500 and establish even a level flight and get your, you know, feel it where it's going to come forward or backwards once we're at 8,500 and you're going to use your trim wheel then to fine tune it so that you can do hands off and it's not going to go up or down. That's the goal. Okay, so now is when I am at 83, so should I start to... Not yet. When you're at 84.50, as slow as we're climbing, at 84.50 is when you can start thinking about leveling out. How did my direction get off again? <laughs> There's winds up here pushing you. Okay, so now... There, yeah, so now just slightly push... There you go. Okay, so now on the horizon, watch your uh, vertical speed and make sure that uh, you're not climbing or dropping. There we go. So now, you're, now get the trim wheel set. Okay, wait, hold on. So do you feel it, if you were to let go, is it going to climb or? Climb, it's going to climb. So, so nose down with the trim wheel. Which That's is gonna up, up or down? Up. Like a lot or a little? I don't know. You have to uh, figure it out. Great. Experimentation. But don't fly, with the thing in don't fly with the trim wheel. Okay, I'm not flying with the trim wheel. Okay, so let go. And what happens is it, if I'm you were to let go. With it, yeah. Okay, Going but up. is it climbing? Yeah, it's so. Climbing. But you're getting really close. I mean, considering you're well, you're 100 feet too high right now. So right. now let go of the trim wheel. Okay. Let's get back down to altitude with with your 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 elevator. Okay. And let's uh, get back to 8,500. Okay. Oh gosh. Also, you've turned right quite a bit. I did. I did turn. I did turn quite a bit. Air shuttle 6300, turn 15 degrees right. So let's, feet let's go ahead and turn left. Turning left. Turning left slightly. Slightly more now. Center fish air, 7347, Okay, I'm at 85 now. 2 Okay, now I straighten out because it's Yeah, we're, we're banked pretty heavily, so you're going to overshoot. Oh, there you go. Now, level out. Good, good. Now, get yourself level. Oh, no. Get level yourself out. level. Okay, okay. Oh, dang it. I missed it. I mean, I Don't go back. OCD too much. And also, the bigger corrections, the the more, you know, you're going to overshoot, that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm at, oh, jeez. Okay, I'm at 85.80. Very subtle. There you go. There you go. Now you're trimmed. Good job. Okay, so now, now it's going to climb me too much. So trim nose down just a hair. I mean, just the very slightest of moves. There you go. Look at that. Okay. Your right. level. Now we're still going too far to the right. Direction. Yep. <laughs> I bet you I would have done a lot worse on my first flight had it been in a, a complex, high-performance airplane like this. Don't forget to keep looking outside. I, I, yeah. You're, and you're looking for what? Other planes. And how, what, how would they look? 
Uh, like planes. <laughs> <laughs> like a little black dot that would move it, and, and you're looking for movement. That's the easiest way to spot planes or spot anything out there, is movement. Um, planes are very hard to see out there. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now this is awesome, Alicia. You're flying it, no autopilot, you're on course, and you're level, you're trimmed out. This is perfect. Great job. <laughs> this is the most nerve-wracking experience ever. Okay, I'll see if they can improve it. I know they got 3-6 active. Are you having fun? Oh, 3-6 is fine. Oddly enough, yeah. Yeah. 3-6 is fine. I've got the plane. You, right you say what? And, uh, you have the plane. Said the it's my plane. Around and they're going to make one eight active. Uh, I've got one coming in from the north. It's going to beat you there. Turn ten degrees left. Six out the whiskey. You can see setting up for a visual. You really have it trimmed well. Okay. Well, ten to the left. I do. Uh, I'm proud of you, Padawan. <laughs> but you still got your sense of humor, which is good. <laughs> you could tell that when you were messing with the climb and all that, that the course was pretty weavy. That's to be expected. Now that we're to level, be expected on your first time, or just too big? Oh, you're period? doing you're doing much more than I ever did on my first time. Oh, great. So, no, just well, on the first time, you do a 30-minute pattern flight or something. Uh, we're, we're doing a three-hour cross country. So I have yeah. to be at this for three hours. No, no. So I just wanted you to get used to the takeoff. I'm not going to burn you out totally. Uh, one of the things in, in the book for learning how to be a CFI. You know, I'd be totally blowing it if I had you do a three-hour cross-country for your first lesson. That's crazy. The field. All right. Good job. Uh, e Yay. <laughs> I did it. Thank so you. So there you have it. Um, it was my first time to coach somebody. Um, I had the plane, just in case. Um, I was shadowing. But you took off. You know, you did great. People you had a lot coming at you, and uh, you have a lot to be proud of here. Aw, thank you. And you get the log, absolutely none of it. <laughs> yay. So, yay. So, I know you want to learn, right? You want to learn yes. to fly? So, what you want to do is you want to buy yourself a log book. You really want to buy yourself a good set of headsets. I would get some that have um, active noise cancellation. I think it's important. So anyway, you want to learn to fly. Those are you, you might set aside some money for that. So a log book and headphones. Headphones. Those are the two biggies. Then you're going to need to buy some books and stuff. Um, but you know, as you get closer, you know, um, that's probably enough uh, lessons for today. And my brain hurts. <laughs> Your brain hurts, and uh, so thank you, Alicia. Thank you, Alex, back there. Got it. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.